welcome back to my channel. Today is a very special video. Be that was Nacho shaking his tags. Are you done? Huh? All done? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a super exciting day because my Plantiful Kids book is finally available in the physical copy. You can go to my website. It is only available in the US right now. We are currently working on making it available outside the US. So I will let you guys know as soon as it is available for purchase outside of the US. Like all my cookbooks, this is very picture heavy. There's a picture for almost every single recipe. It is super kid friendly, it's spouse friendly, it's newbie friendly. If you're new to a plant-based diet and you're trying to make the transition, this is great. It's full of lots of familiar comfort foods that I have cleaned up and made plant-based. And most of all, easy to make. And most of the recipes in here are gluten-free or they have a gluten-free option. There are a few not gluten-free ones that I don't have a gluten-free option for, but not many. I think there's only like four. I also have a kids bundle available right now in very limited quantities. So if you want one, go ahead and grab one because again, it's in limited quantities and I don't think they're going to last long. So the bundle comes with the book. And it comes with my Plantiful Kids silicone muffin pan and a kid-sized whisk that says Plantiful Kids on it and a kid-sized spatula that also says Plantiful Kids on it. And I wanted to make kid-sized utensils to encourage your little ones to help you in the kitchen because when they help in the kitchen, they're always more willing to try the food that they have helped prepare. So again, those are all available on my website. We have lots of new products coming. We, we have these really cute Plantiful Kids teas. They will be available very soon. I also have an adult tea coming and the moon necklaces should be available very, very soon. Remember, you can follow me on Instagram at Plantiful Kiki. That is where I post regularly. I'm, I'm always posting new recipes and new reels, lots of lifestyle inspiration. That's where I do my giveaways and announcements. So if you want to stay connected, make sure you follow me there. All right, so today I'm going to show you guys how to make two really quick and easy school lunches. The main part of these lunches can be prepped at the beginning of the week and then used all week long. And then I'm going to show you guys my kids' favorite dinner. It's an old favorite in our pre-plant-based days. My kids loved fish sticks. You know the ones I'm talking about, the ones that come in a big bag from the freezer section. Not great for anybody to be consuming. <laughs> so now they love my fishless fish sticks that are made from zucchini. Now my kids are not huge zucchini fans, but they gobble up these fish sticks. I feel great because they're eating tons of zucchini. They can be made gluten-free. They're easy to put together and my kids love helping. So I'm gonna show you guys the fishless fish stick magic. All right, so for these herb cream cheese sandwiches, I am just gonna make the herb cream cheese and my kids absolutely love these sandwiches. Now this recipe is available for free on my website, but you can also find it in my new Plantable Kids cookbook. So I start off with some cashews that I have soaked overnight, then I add some garlic powder, onion powder, and a little salt. Then I'm gonna take a little lemon and squeeze a little lemon juice into the mixture. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of water and blend this up until it's nice and creamy. So now that it's nice and creamy, I'm just gonna get it into my dish here and then I'm gonna add in some dried chives and some dried parsley. If your kids are really sensitive to anything green in their food, then just leave this out. All right, so now I'm gonna take these cute little bento boxes. I just find these on Amazon. I will link them for you guys below. They come with all sorts of different colored lids, but they're great for lunches. They've got all these different compartments and it makes it easy to pack their lunches. All right, so for these sandwiches, I like to take this Ezekiel bread. I love this one, the seven sprouted greens, and I like to toast it. And if you are gluten-free, then just use whatever vegan gluten-free bread you can find. So I just toast it and then I am gonna slice it here. You can slice it however your kiddos like it. Then I'm gonna take the herbed cream cheese and spread it onto the toasted bread. 
So now my kids like these sandwiches two ways. They like some sliced cucumber on top, but they also like a little lettuce. Even my picky eater who is now finally venturing out and letting me add just a little bit of lettuce to her sandwiches. But if your kids aren't there yet, try the cucumber. And if they won't want cucumber, then just make the sandwich with the herb cream cheese. But see here, it comes together. It's super tasty. My kids love this. So now since I put the lettuce in her sandwich, I am just going to slice up some cucumbers. I always try to include a little veggie in their lunch. And then I like to add some fresh fruit. So then for a little dessert, I'm gonna give my daughter a few medjool dates. Now she's old enough and knows to remove the pit, but if you have young ones, either buy pitted dates or remove the pits for them. So dates are really caramely and delicious. My kids love them, but if you are still transitioning and trying to get your kids used to healthier food options and dates aren't cutting it, then try splitting the dates open and putting a little nut butter or seed butter in them and a little piece of chocolate and they taste just like a Snickers bite. All right, so this chickpea chicken salad is a major hit in my house, and I just start by mashing up a can of chickpeas that I have drained and rinsed. Now you don't wanna cream the chickpeas, you wanna make sure there's still some texture. Then I take my ranch dressing recipe and I will link it for you guys below and I add it to the chickpeas. Now my kids love this stuff. They love it in wraps, they love it in sandwiches, and they love it with crackers, which is how I'm going to make a lunch today. Now I'm just gonna give that a good stir and you can make it as creamy and wet as your kids like. My older son likes diced onions and a little diced celery in his, which is the way I love it as well, but my little one still cannot deal with diced onions and diced celery in her chickenless chicken salad, so I am leaving it out. So I'm just gonna salt and pepper this to taste and then it will be ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna take another one of these little bento boxes and now I'm gonna take these silicone muffin liners and I like to put them in here just to give me more little compartments to build her lunch and make it look pretty and enticing since she is my picky eater. Take some of this salad and just put it in one of these little spots here. Then I'm gonna take these brown rice crackers. These are unsalted. They literally only have brown rice as an ingredient. My kids love these, they're used to them. It did take them a long time to get used to them. I basically just slowly phased out the flavored, fattening crackers we used to keep and only had these in the house. So since these were all they had access to as crackers, they learned to love them and love dipping them into this chickpea salad. So now I'm just gonna add some fruit. You can add whatever fruit you want. The more colorful, the better. Make it look like a fun rainbow. Now I'm gonna add some sliced carrots and then I'm gonna add some peas. Now, my daughter did not always eat the peas, but I just kept putting them in front of her and then I started to notice that she would actually start picking at them and then eventually started really enjoying them. All right, so I wanna to talk to you guys for just a minute about kid lunches. When we first transitioned to a plant-based diet, this is probably where, this and the snacking is where we struggled the most. My kids were used to really processed snacks, lots of gummies and potato chips, just, you know, anything that made it easier and was tasty. They struggled to get off of that. My youngest is my picky child. She's very, very picky and she's gotten better, but, but at nine years old, I would have hoped that we would have been a little further past the pickiness. But with that said, she is now willing to eat some lettuce on her sandwiches and try other vegetables. And the biggest thing that helped me was just continuing to put it in front of her. For real little ones, like between preschool and first grade, I didn't do sandwiches. Like my kids were never interested in sandwiches till they got a little bit older. So I would just get these bento boxes and fill them with a little bit of peas, a little bit of chickpeas, some berries, some grapes, some carrots. 
some trail mix that I would make. And it was just the variety in the color that got them excited about trying stuff that they swear they didn't like. Like if I put a pile of peas on my daughter's plate, she wouldn't eat them, but for whatever reason, she would eat them in her lunch when they were right next to all the other colorful foods. So tip number one is to keep it colorful, give them some variety and keep putting it in front of them. Don't force it. Let them feel autonomous in their decisions. You put it in front of them, they're allowed to choose what they're gonna pick at from their lunch. And really time and consistency is your best friend. Now that my kids are a little bit older, they love having their sandwiches. They love herb cream cheese sandwiches, either with cucumber or lettuce. They love their chickenless chicken salad sandwiches, so it can be done. You can do it, mamas, hang in there. And if you need to add some crackers or some plant-based popcorn, you know, that's a little bit more refined, has more ingredients in it than just like the plain rice crackers that my kids are now used to, then do what you have to do, mama. You know, transitioning them to a cleaner diet is a process and it can be very emotional for kids. It's as emotional, if not more emotional, for kids when you drastically change their diets than it is for adults because they don't have the emotional maturity to look into the future like adults do and say, okay, I am doing this so that I am healthy long-term. They don't have that. All they have is that mom is just completely, you know, disrupted <laughs> everything I know and everything I like. So if you need to transition them, which is what I did, I still in the beginning included, you know, I found everything plant-based. I tried to find as low fat as possible, as minimal ingredients as possible, but they were still processed refined foods. I used plant-based crackers. I used plant-based popcorn. And I will still throw in some vegan fig bars and things like that for them. I try to find things that are as minimally processed as possible. One, for ease, because we're extremely busy and we can only conquer so many things in a day. And two, it really helped them transition and get used to eating more healthy foods. And I slowly, slowly phased those out and started replacing them with cleaner versions. So don't be too hard on yourself. You know, it's a journey, it's a process. You want to enjoy it. You want to keep it light and easy and fun, you know, because it can get really frustrating when the kids are fighting you all the way and you don't know how to please them, but you want to give them healthy habits that they can take with them the rest of their lives. So do what you gotta do, keep trying, don't give up. You are doing great. All right, so for these fishless fish sticks, I'm gonna take these zucchinis and I'm just gonna get them cut up into fish stick sized sticks. Now I'm just gonna add them to my bowl and I'm gonna dust them with a little flour. You can use regular flour or you can use gluten-free flour, but you need to dust them because they are wet. And if you don't dust them, then the batter will not stick to them. All right, so now I'm just gonna make the batter. And again, you can make this completely gluten-free and the recipe is in my Plantiful Kids cookbook and it's available for free on my website as well. So I'm just gonna add some flour and then I'm gonna season it with a little garlic powder and a little onion powder. Then I'm gonna add a little salt and then this next ingredient is what gives it its more fish stick flavor and it's just some powdered kelp so I like to add a teaspoon of that to the batter mix and then I'm just gonna add a little water and we'll start dipping all right, so now I'm just gonna dip my zucchini sticks in the batter just like this, and then I'm gonna quickly run them through some breadcrumbs. Now we love panko breadcrumbs. You can also find gluten-free breadcrumbs, any breadcrumbs that you enjoy. And my daughter loves helping in the kitchen, which has been really fun, especially as she gets older. So this is a great way to get them involved, helping make dinner, and then they're always more willing to try the food that they've helped prepare. Can you show everybody your plantiful kids shirt that you now have flour on? <laughs> what does it say? It says um, be Be brave and be confident. Yep, be confident and be brave. It's so cute. And I am you. brave and confident. You are brave and confident. Here, turn around so people can see the back where we put the plantiful kids. It's so cute. All right, so here they are ready to go and I'm actually gonna pop them in my air fryer. You can put them in the oven or the air fryer and I'm just gonna air fry them at 425 for about 15 to 20 minutes. And there you have it. They are golden and delicious.
All right, so my kids love dipping this in my ranch dressing recipe or my Thousand Island recipe. They also love ketchup. You can find all my dressing recipes in the new kids cookbook, but also on my website at plantifulkiki.com. All right, guys, that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing these school lunches and seeing my easy fishless fish stick dinner. Again, all these recipes are available for free on my website. And I did wanna remind you that this is your last chance to sign up for the Vegan Women's Empowerment Conference that's being held on September 24th. I will be speaking there along Chef AJ and some other amazing female speakers. I will be speaking on the topic of the power of self-love and empowering lasting change in your life. So I will link all of that for you guys below. Remember to keep food and life simple. It multiplies happiness. Kiss your kids for me and I hope you have a beautiful day. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.